Family and friends of the late minister in the presidency, Jackson Mtembo, continue to pay tribute. Now, Jackson Mtembo's contribution to the ANC politics have seen him mentoring ANC members, one of the people who he has mentored, uh, who was mentored by Mtembo during the early days of political activities is Lassi Chihuahua, an ANC member. Uh, Lassi, a pleasure to have you on the program this afternoon. Just talk us through your initial interactions with Minister Mtembo and how your relationship has grown through the years. Good afternoon, sir, and good afternoon to all viewers at home. Mr. Mtembo is uh, one of the most, uh, was one of the most phenomenal human beings. Um, you know, it is just one of those things that make you realize that uh, mm -hmm. when you when you meet people, when you grow up with some of them or you are raised by some of them, you must never ever assume that there will never be anything imp more important than, than what they are. When I met Mr. Mtembu, it was through my sister, Martha Chiwayo. They used to call each other a classmate. Uh, I was probably nine years old and, and uh, I started taking an interest uh, you know, in, uh, in the political uh, uh, life of our country uh, through him, through uh, Sefa Konyaka, there's also a neighbor uh, that we're very close with him called Panima Sheho. And uh, I think probably what ignited uh, our interest in the political situation in the country was the 1976 revolt, because when that happened, we we're still youngsters, under 10. But of course, we had a lot of questions because, uh, you know, the June, 16, June, uh, June 16 uprisings in Soweto against the uh, Africans as a medium of education, and of course, apartheid in general was uh, really, I think, a turning stone in the life of the of, of South Africa and, and its history. So Mtembu is uh, one of those people that were activists in the, in 19, during the 1976 uprisings. And uh, 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 they, they obviously are the ones that ensured that, uh, you know, Mpumalanga also, uh, which was called Eastern Transvaal, was not left uh, in this whole thing. So his political influence to us is uh, something very phenomenal. I don't think that uh, most of us would have uh, ended up where we were. Uh, my last responsibility in government, for instance, was that of being Consul General of South Africa in China. And our life have, has have been intertwined since then. But I can say he, he literally adopted me as his younger brother, like uh, at 13 years old, making sure that, uh, you know, I'm nurtured. And of course, Umtembu, uh, and you know, one thing that he always complained about, uh, you know, when it comes to me is that I must, he says, I must uh, refine my thorns and uh, actually start becoming uh, more matured. And I think maybe it is uh, it is in his honor that one must it, must start reviewing, you know, becoming the opposite of one what, what one is do known for. But of course, one thing that I will not change is, uh, you know, uh, being straightforward because he's one person that was always transparent, straightforward. One thing I can say, I was saying to the City Press interview that I had uh, last week, that this is one person who you can take the full blast of the sun's light and emit it uh, on his shadow. You will not find a dent because he was, he was a, someone that, uh, from a, a political point of view, but as a public servant, someone that is a servant of the people, uh, as one, one person that will, you would not corrupt. Even those of us that were close to him, I'm, 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 I'm in my other life, I'm uh, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an entrepreneur, a businessman. In fact, I was making a joke to the president as we were walking out that uh, I think mm -hmm. uh, uh, it is time that he should also, like Mandela, deploy him to the private sector. It is time that he should also announce it to all and sundry that uh, 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 he's officially deploying me in the private sector because I think I'm on my way up and I might be uh, just over him or Dangote uh, as a billionaire. I was just talking to the president and he said, I know you can do it. So um, it is, I think, just one of those things that uh, uh, the likes of Comrade Jackson Tembo created that, you know, we can joke about these things, but we know that it is the spirit, you know, that uh, he has left with us. And, uh, you know, one of the most remarkable things that happened even here at this very important, uh, you know, gathering is seeing all of us coming from different groups, uh, coming from even what you can call people that don't necessarily say I to eye to eye with each other politically. But for us to all be gathered here and be brought in the name of um, Tembo, it tells you of his character. But I think it is also a message directly that tells us of what he would wish, because Tembo is a nation builder. He's someone that uh, loves peace, he's someone that uh, would not be angry against anyone. It doesn't matter you know, uh, 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 how, how far you differ, not even with the opposition. He's one person that always taught us as we're growing up, even 
during the height of apartheid upheavals, you know, and uh, I mean, he knows that very well. Some of us saw some of our colleagues die in our hands. We're just driving past the house. I got Thomas Matlangu. Thomas Matlangu was one of our very closest friends that police, apartheid police apprehended when you just came back into the into the country. Uh, most people don't know about that, but you just came into the township where we spent a uh, uh, time away, of, obviously, when we're in contact with uh, a lot of our comrades that we're operating with. Well, it seems we've lost connection there with Mr. Lassi Chowau, who, is a, who was a, a mentee of the late uh, president, or rather the late minister, Jackson Mtembo. Uh, while delivering the eulogy earlier, the president, Sil Ramaphosa, urged ANC members and activists to follow in the footsteps of Minister Mtembu. Let's go back to Mr. Lassi Chiwayo. Mr. Chiwayo, we lost you there for a moment, but as I was alluding to, the president uh, urged ANC members and activists to follow in the footsteps of Minister Mtembu and pick up his spear. Uh, what lessons do you believe can be learned from Mtembu's life? Hello. Uh, well, as I said, you know, any, any nation has got what I can call the building blocks. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, of its own nation, um, you know, things that are, are very important uh, for their people to, 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 to be proud about, things that, that are very important that define their uh, identity. I mean, if you look at, for instance, if I may just make an example of China and, 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 and America, America is known for its aggressiveness and wanting to expand its, uh, its global control out of, uh, you know, expanding its authority and sphere of influence beyond its borders. But when you look at China, one of the glory that uh, they, 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 they enjoy is that of expanding their, 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 their power through what they call soft diplomacy. But I think I'm raising that because in our case, uh, what Mandela, what uh, uh, Jackson and Tembu and a lot of ANC leaders uh, uh, of their likes left for us, is for us to remember that uh, the building blocks of our own nation is a nation building, is peace and resolution of our own problems through peaceful means. And if we really deviate from that, uh, I don't think that we'll be able to achieve what we, we, we wish for. But the other very important uh, a, a, a building block is the issue of identity. One of the worst things that is happening currently is that perhaps we are struggling to mm -hmm. find out who we are. And that's, that is why 25 years down the line, we find ourselves in a situation where much as our constitution, for instance, is built on very critical and most important tenets, uh, such as, a, you know, a, a, a democratic, because that's what our constitution say in the Freedom Charter. It says, we aspire to create a society that is united, that is democratic, non-racial, non-sexist, and prosperous. And therefore, that should be what I can call a defining, defining features and characteristics of the new society that we, we, we are building. So the, the whole... A peaceful uh, a negotiated settlement, nation building, which Mandela left as a legacy for us. And most importantly, reconciliation, but also, you know, creation of a, a united democratic non-racial and non 60 society should serve as the cornerstone of what we should build on, you know, following on the footsteps of uh, uh, Jackson and Chamber, because he's one of those people. Well, Mr. Chihuahua, uh, sorry, to, sorry to cut you short, but I have to interject and we need to end our conversation because we have run out of time.